what's up guys welcome back to the channel and so a bit of exciting news uh, regarding pixel 5 and so I wanted to uh, make a, a brief video about this uh, I talked a lot about it on the uh, podcast today so if you guys missed the episode um, definitely check it out and uh, okay so um, not Pixel 4a news because we already kind of covered that we're right at the end of it I mean the, the biggest announcement of the Pixel 4a rumors uh, a 349 price tag. All right. So, um, if that is it, that's pretty dope. If it's 299, like some websites have been posting, which I highly doubt it, then that's even sweeter. But the Pixel 5. Okay. So a couple of things to talk about here. Pixel 5 most likely yielding a price tag of $699. Uh, it's a hundred dollars less than the Pixel 4 and the Pixel 3's release price. And I know some of you guys are going to be like, well, that's only a hundred dollar difference. If you guys really feel so strongly about it, um, I would gladly take $100 from you guys. And I know you guys are not going to send me $100 because $100 is not nothing. It is something. So um, it may not be the best pricing that people would hope for. uh, But again, we haven't even used the phone to even know if it warrants that pricing or not. I mean, that's the big key here. It has to be used. We have to physically have it in our hands to know if uh, if, if it's worth it. Now... The $699 price tag could be $649. Would be sweet if it's $599. But $699, I could understand it, a $699 price tag if it does this. And here's here's the kicker, okay? There is a strong possibility that Google can switch up chipsets that they're that they're intending to use. Now we've heard for months now it's gonna be the Snapdragon 765G, okay? Now some websites are saying that they could just end up going with the 865G. I doubt they would go that route because they're wanting to have a they're they're not wanting to compete with other flagships anymore apparently from a lot of the things that that we're getting this this vibe from Google when it comes to this and so with that being said uh, there is one other chipset that they could switch up to and there's more than enough time for them to switch up to this chip and it's not that major of a of an adjustment change from the 765G as far as the hardware chip itself okay And that would be the Snapdragon 768G, the successor to the 765G. And here's the reason why I want them to go with it. I have Qualcomm site pulled up. I'm going to talk to you guys about the specifications of the chipset so you guys understand why I'm hoping that the Pixel 5 uses this chip than the 765G. All right. So um, for the um, for the core for the for the chip itself, it's a Cryo 475 CPU prime core clocked at. Um, 2.8 gigahertz that's improved from the 2.4 gigahertz on the 765g all right it's gonna have the six the adreno 620 gpu that's a 15 percent uh performance increase according to qualcomm over the 765 and here's the big one it has uh the updatable gpu drivers all right so here's a bit of synopsis from the website so i'm gonna um, quote verbatim uh, the 768G offers select Snapdragon Elite gaming features to provide special gaming extensions and optimization, smoother gameplay, more enhanced details, colors of true 10 bit HDR to deliver high quality mobile gaming experience. This is the first in the 7 series platform to support updatable GPU drivers, giving players control of their GPU driver updates and settings to provide peak display refresh rates that unlock premium visual f- uh, fidelity. I don't know. Um, yeah, Fidelity. Sorry, I'm kind of blind. Um, on their favorite games. Combined with a bolstered Adreno 620 GPU for 15% faster graphics rendering than the Snapdragon 765G and supports 120 um, 120 hertz displays. Users can en- enjoy life like gaming experiences, leading performance per unit power. So, again, the updatable drivers for the GPU. That's insane. And it's a first... Uh, in the 7 series to do that okay here's the second reason why uh, truly global 5g so the dedic- so dedicated to bringing superior 5g multi-mode connectivity and uh, for far and wide globally like its predecessor the 768g with the snapdragon x52 5g modem rf uh, system supports all key regions and frequency bands including 5g millimeter wave and sub 6 gigahertz 5G SA and NSA modes, TDD, FDD with dynamic spectrum sharing or DSS, um, and a global 5G roaming and support for multi-SIM. Uh, the X52 5G modem RF system is designed 
to deliver multi-gigabit peak download speeds of up to 3.7 gigabits per second on the downlink and the uplink up to 1.6 gigabits per second, ensuring superior coverage for users and world um, of the around the world and support of all day battery life. So not only is it going to give you um, decent connections with multi-band connections on 5G, but also optimize the battery um, to be able to handle that connection. If you didn't know, when you have a connection to the network, if your connection is weak, your your phone kicks up how much power it uses from the battery to try and maintain that constant connection instead of it breaking, which will sap your battery. So this chip is actually designated to allow for multiple connections to have, you know, the strongest uh, connection to the network as possible without killing out your battery. So it will, you know, it will save out your battery so your battery is not dying out pretty quickly. Um, so fifth generation AI engine. So the latest uh, fifth generation Qualcomm AI engine combined with the X52 5G modem uh, enhances nearly every mobile experience, including camera, audio, voice, and gaming. So here's the thing. We've been wanting the pixels to have good video, right? Uh, pixels is pretty much like king in photo, um, but it's lacked in video. And as a matter of fact, um, iPhones do better than the pixel when it comes to video. Um, and so it's about time and I'm hoping with this that this would be actually the start of what we've all been asking for which is for Google to finally pay attention to the video aspect alongside with the photo aspect like they have the photo aspect down okay they're, they're, um, the, the pixel neural processor for photos that was uh, debuted in the pixel threes does an extremely good job in cleaning up photos and, and, and providing the best photo experience as possible I take a lot of photos with my Pixel 3. I take it with my Pixel 2. I compare the two. Obviously, you know, the Pixel 3 comes out a little bit better than my Pixel 2. But nonetheless, from both, the photos look absolutely good. Um, but when I take video, like this is video from my Pixel 3. And you guys will say it. Like if I use like like an iPhone 11 or an iPhone 10s, the video might be a bit better. I mean, it's not like I'm shooting through a potato that's wet. But, you know, again, you really can see a, a difference. And I'm hoping that with this, the video side on pixels gets cleaned up and gets much better for consumers out there. So if they were to throw the 768G into the Pixel 5, then yes, I could see, you know, just from what it's already reading out already, the things that you're gonna get from it, why it would have, you know, a 649 to a 699 price tag. Um, and I'm hoping to go with this. So I just really kind of wanted to drop this information for you guys to let you guys know what we could possibly be expecting. Now, if this is where things look for the Pixel 5, then if you are, say, on the Pixel 3 and you're thinking of up upgrading, um, I would then say hold off on the Pixel 4a uh, until the Pixel 5 comes out. And, yeah, um, unless you really want to spend, like, you know, under uh, $400, then go with the Pixel 4a. But, you know, if you have time to wait and save up a little bit more so you have enough to pretty much drop that kind of stack on the um, Pixel 5, definitely worth waiting for. So anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comment section of this video. Um, hit the heart or smash the like, depending on what, what platform you're watching this from. And um, yeah, if you just followed and subscribed to me, I really appreciate that for doing that. Uh, hit the bell icon on YouTube to be notified when I upload. And you don't have to do that on IGTV because when I upload, um, you will know. So that's it for now, guys. Uh, thanks for checking it out. Happy hump day to everyone out there. And I'll talk to you on the next one. As always, law.